you know, yeah, I really want to to get who she is out there. You know, like she's she's been she's known for you know being a girlfriend of a multi platinum writer. Right? right, right. So I want them to know that she's just not that you know right right exactly exactly Uh, first off i just want to say i want to send my condolences to your family i want to send my condolences to you i believe you say your name is cornisha is that correct i want to get your name correct it's quisha quisha okay quisha um i want to send i want to send my deepest condolences i know you lost your sister on mother's day and i know that 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 has to be tough on your family um um are you the baby sister or the older sister what i'm saying what what you got she is my baby sister okay great so you're the older sister Yes, sir. I know it's tough for you. Um, all right, take me back to one of like Walana when she first met him. Like, um, what was your first impression of the guy, the dude Jay Wright? Like when she first met him and brought him home to you know how they be like, girl, you know I got a new dude. Well, you guys like, what was your first impression on him? So my sister never brought him home. Um, oh, okay. I didn't know him until about I would say about a month ago. Um, that they were together. Um, so she okay. met him when she moved to Atlanta, Georgia, from living in Durham, North Carolina. Right, right. So that's where she met him at. But as far as like who he is and all that, I don't know. You know. Right, um, right. So you all this information now that I'm finding out about him. That gotta be crazy. So you never, you never really met the dude for real, for real. Or this was a guy that she kind of was just dealing with after she moved out of town. Yes, sir. My mom. Face to face, or even talk to him, you know, mm-hmm. like that. Damn, that's crazy. That's crazy. So, all, you guys are an, an, originally from Durham, North Carolina. Is that where she's yes. from as well? And then she yeah. just moved to Atlanta kind of on her own? Well, okay. So, she moved to Atlanta, Georgia to go stay with her father, just, you know, to start a new life, to get on a new path. And right. Just, uh, start working on her music career because she didn't want to become a singer. Right. And, um, that's how she moved from from Durham, North Carolina to Atlanta. Right. Okay. Was it like any signs that this dude was like an abusive guy? Did she ever call it like sis? Like you know, like I'm dealing with. You know how it is. Like, cause I have like sisters. You know what I'm saying? And then when they call me, sometimes of course I tried. If it's violent, I'm on another level. So they keep that away from me. You know what I'm saying? But if she ever calls you like like sis, is it like just like showing signs that she may be dealing with some type of violence or something like that? Um before all this occurred, like throughout her process of being with him? So there was a incident, I would say about two weeks ago, um, two to three weeks ago, where um, this man did threaten my sister and she did get, a, she did get away. Um, she actually jumped out of a moving car to get away from him. Wow. And she went to a restaurant um, down there in Atlanta to to wait for her dad to come to come get her. Right. Um, and from there, that's when they sent her out to Arizona, which where I live, and that's where I'm stationed at right now. Okay. To to just be somewhere safe and you know just to to get away from this person. Right. Right. Okay. So you out in Arizona? You said. Yes. I know so you. Right now, I'm in in Durham, North Carolina with my family. Right, um, right, right. Um, was this like, a, was dude like a selfish move, a selfish type of dude to try to like control her every move or like yes. this? He was, yeah. Yes. Uh, you see yes, that? I, go ahead, I'm sorry. Yes, I saw that, you know, whenever I would try to call her, she wouldn't answer her phone. When I wasn't, you know, knowing my sister, um, but she was able to text, but it didn't seem as much. Um, Wow. Between you know, between me and her, um, that's crazy. Yeah, would, How did that make you feel though? Like you know, what I'm saying, being like, I'm sure you and your sister had whatever type of relationship you guys had, which I would, I would. Just engaging how much you guys been riding for your sister and getting the word out there, engaging that you guys had a, a pretty great relationship. How did how did that affect you when 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 she started messing with this guy and all of a sudden the Texas is getting a little bit later or like slowing down? They're not as fluent. You know what I'm saying? How did that make you feel? Well, you know, it, with you know, with this whole situation, um, we warned my sister. You know, we didn't know that he was um, 
you know, all this information now is coming out. You know, women are coming forward telling us that they have relationships with this guy, that he was abusive, he was manipulative, he was trying to kill him, and all these things, right? Damn, that's and um, it's unfortunate that a death had to happen for women to step up and for women to speak out against domestic violence. Right, so, right. You know, it hurts because even with us not knowing this, you know, there were signs and there were things that he was doing that I was able to see, but my sister necessarily wasn't. Right. And that's something, you know, because a lot of people now read the comments, they'll be like, well, why did she stay? Yeah. And all this. And I'm like, you know, it's so easier for us to look at someone else's yard and see their flowers, to see their weeds, to see all this and that. But when you're the main character in your story, it is hard to see what's going yes, on. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Because we all have blinders on. We all made decisions or have done things that we regretted that weren't the best of decisions. But, you know, I I can totally understand if some things she couldn't see or some things that she could see, you know. Right. And yeah. that's what I wish people would understand, you know, it's, it's you see somebody, oh, well, you know, you shouldn't throw the red flag or that. I'm like, okay, that's probably easy for you to see. Right. But once people have the mentality to understand that not everyone thinks like you, not everyone behaves like you, you know, not everyone speaks like you. So you can't expect for someone to see something that you see. You know, all you can do is bring it to them in hopes that they take heed to what you're saying. Right, exactly, um, exactly. This <clears throat> just to piggyback off of what you said I, I definitely agree with you like sometimes you know they say love is blind and sometimes yeah. when you're in love with someone you know you can be caught in the moment of just trying to love them for who they who they who they are and, and trying to love them through whatever everybody else is seeing as fraudulent in them you know what i'm saying so mm -hmm. me being a man speaking from a man perspective i'm not a man i'm not a perfect guy you know what i'm saying like i'm sure uh people that have been around me has had opinions of me you know what i'm saying but like i always try to be um aware and i'm not i'm not taking up a conversation i just want to piggyback off what you said to try to be aware yes. that you know and i'm saying other people are looking at your situation and you don't want to misrepresent your your lady in any way so i agree with you definitely in that regard now this death happened on mother's day correct right. now this is a stupid question but at the same time i just want to ask you how's your mother holding up like is she doing is she doing as good as she probably like how's she holding up she's actually sitting next to me right now Okay. Um, she's holding up as much as she can, just like right. everyone else is. Right. Um, my mom and my sister had a very close relationship. Right. Um, you know, my mom was actually the last person that my sister was trying to get in contact with. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. you know, just imagine the emotions and just, you know, just just the emotions that's there that, you know. Right. I want to I wanna take the time that, that um, if you could relate this message, it'd, it'd mean a lot to me. I just want to tell your mother that she's in my prayers. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm in Ohio, but I pray for you guys daily. You know what I'm saying? Um, I can I can only imagine a mother getting that type of call and then on Mother's Day. You know what I'm saying? So, you know that 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 have to be traumatic. You know. Um, yes, and uh, I do appreciate that. Yes, um, ma'am. Yeah. So as far as with their relationship, it's been good. You know, they still talk, and I didn't know a lot about their relationship. Yes, ma'am. Um, it was back and forth. It was very toxic. Right. And I would um, talk to her about it. She didn't really want her dad to know too much, but she did talk to me, and then I would relate it to her sister. Yes, ma'am. Uh, and to my friend, but um, he was very controlling of her. But when I would FaceTime her just to see how things were, did she act different? She acted pretty normal. Uh, right. He would be coming back and forth in the room and all this stuff, and but I, uh, he would never speak to me. I tried to be cordial with him, uh, but, you know, he just, he was kind of standoffish because he probably knew that if I spoke to this girl's mother or father, you know, they're going to know yes, that I'm not about nothing. Because my, uh, her father even invited them to come over to the house for dinner. Yes, ma'am. And, and he wouldn't, he didn't want to go over there. 